everyone just want to let you know in about five minutes we're going to begin with the closing ceremonies just want to say thanks again and uh, five more minutes thank you in in that year 750 people uh, joined at the old woodbine stables and had the first ride for heart and that uh, is how this event started 25 years ago. It's remarkable how much can happen in that, that short a period of time. Um, the other thing that I'd like to congratulate you on today is that uh, we have raised a remarkable $5 million today. today a lot of fun. It's fun with a great purpose. Um, you might wonder where the money goes uh, and uh, I'm very pleased to say that uh, we use the proceeds of events such as this to support over 600 researchers across Ontario in universities and hospitals and, and laboratories and so forth. Uh, we also use proceeds to do things such as installing uh, automated electronic uh, defibrillators. Uh, we've got uh, over 400 of them located in the greater Toronto area. We've got approximately 3,000 of them installed across Ontario. And uh, with the, the use of those devices, we've already saved over 40 lives. And so that's, uh, that's not your, your work at work. Another issue of the day that we are we're tackling with your assistance is childhood obesity. Um, you may or may not be aware, uh, although it's been in the paper a fair bit lately, that 26 to 28 percent of kids uh, in, in this day and age are either overweight or clinically obese. That uh, number has tripled in one generation, and that's a scary thing. And so with uh, your assistance here today, we will work with you to try to address, address that uh, societal issue. I'd like to uh, shift now to uh, some thank yous. You can imagine with an event of this size that there are a lot of 19 years. So thank you very much to this. And I'd like to thank you. The riders, thank you. The fundraisers, thank you. Uh, I've got to put a bit of a plug here. Uh, it's possible to continue fundraising right up until Friday of this week, so keep going. And if you've got a corporate match, be sure that they do that as well. I'd like to also thank all of our sponsors, and I'd like to thank the City of Toronto. Um, an event like this is, is a huge event for the City of Toronto, uh, and we really appreciate their support and the, the support of the people of Toronto who come out in droves in order to help to make this happen. The last group, thank you. And finally, but not, uh, not least, I'd like to thank the volunteers who helped to, to make today possible. Uh, it actually takes over 500 volunteers to put this all together. So let's have a round of applause for them. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce Margaret McKellar from Basel. Margaret, come on up.
Um, and also, keep donating. Go to heartandstroke.ca to keep donating um, to see if we can you know, raise even more than the five million. And on the subject of donations, I have a big check. Chief Executive Officer of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada, David Spilthorpe. Come on up, David. I couldn't be more sincere when I say that I hope you enjoyed the ride today, because I sure did. It was fantastic. This is the third year that I've done the ride, and it gets more inspiring each and every year. I see, I don't know whether I'm getting up to be a better rider, but I see more happy faces and I see more spectacular views of the city that I just have never seen before. Before. The, the, um, I'm always touched and amazed by the energy and passion that I see. It's really inspiring to think that there are 13,000 people out there pedaling every size and shape and every age and I've talked to many of them who have been doing it for 10, 15, 20 and even some who've been here for every year. For all those who've been here for many many years, thank you and congratulations. Stroke research and this research is desperately needed especially when you consider that heart disease and stroke take one in three Canadians before their time. I'm so grateful for every donation and every dollar, but I'd like to make a special mention to our top fundraiser for this year's Ride for Heart. Our top fundraiser this year was Colleen Johnson, who with her team raised an incredible $200,000. Now, Colleen is not here today, but that's because she just finished riding at our sister ride, our sister ride for heart in PEI. This year was the first ride for heart outside of Ontario. And I heard it was a huge success. We got a picture of them at the start line. It, there were over 300 riders. So while we're hitting the road here, it's great to know that we've got another group starting and if any of you want to make the trip to PEI, I'm sure we'll be running it again next year there. And Colleen would love to have you do that. On her behalf, I would like to invite all of her team members who helped in raising that $200,000. Boy, do they have big hearts. Even bigger than their checkbooks. And their leader today, Barry Krakauer. David, on behalf of this very good looking team, I'd like to present you with this check for $200,000. Thank you. Very inspiring. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thank you, Margaret. And thank you, Tom. And before the Day ends, I guess, even though we've had lunch at 9.30. I'd like to introduce Sugar Rush. Thank Thanks you. Is everybody feeling good?